Greetings team. Welcome to Monday Morning Pearls brought to you by Span the Chasm. My name is Randy Reimersma. Before we get into the pearl, I want to encourage you to go out and listen to our podcast, Uncommon Sales Success. It's a compilation of interviews with sales leaders across the space. Some great learnings in here. Why does it matter to you? Because there's very practical and immediately actionable advice that's going to come out of these things. Learnings from mistakes, uh, best practices that we're seeing playing out in the field, stuff that's going to help you be more successful immediately. Where do you go get them? Go to span the chasm forward slash podcast. All the information you need is there. It'll point you to all the different platforms that you might like. So with that, on to this week's Monday Morning Pearl. Hey gang, uh, if you if you hung around me very long, you know that I love leading workshops. We we're doing a workshop here recently and there's this theme kept coming up in some of the conversations as we were talking about late stage deals, confidence slipping, and a lot of opportunities these reps in this workshop uh, were not able to accelerate and get moving forward. And um, you know, we, we dug into it a little bit and we found there was a very common theme. Every single one of the ideas that they were talking about would make logical sense to implement. There were no bad ideas. These were all ideas that had merit and would drive business impact. But here's what they were missing. They did not understand the priority of this opportunity to drive business value and where that priority was with the economic buyer. Again, you don't have to spend much time with me to know that I am maniacal about making sure that we are in front of the economic buyer and understanding what matters to them because they are the one that are going to release the funds that are going to make our life or not. All right, Randy, what do you want me to do? It's very simple. If you are not meeting with the economic buyer, if you're sitting letting, you're simply letting your champion or your mobilizer do your work for you, stop. Make it a priority to get in front of the economic buyer. One of the first questions I ask is, what color are the eyes of the economic buyer? If you have not met with him or her, you are putting yourself at huge risk because you're letting someone else tell your story. All right, great. You're with the economic buyer. You're in the room. Well, here's what you've got to do. You simply must ask the economic buyer, hey, Mr. or Ms. CIO, hey, Mr. or Ms. CMO, where is this project on your priority list? Is this something that you are going to fund? Is this one of the top three initiatives or where are we? Uh, we talk a lot about how priority number 23 never gets funded. Priority number 23 is a great idea, but it just does not have the merit, the business impact that's going to get the funding to drive it. So you've got to understand with the economic buyer, where is this on the priority list? Is the money allocated for this? you got to know it's a priority. you got to know that it's funded, that they've got the requisite money tied up for it, whether it's $50,000, a million dollars, or $20 million, that the money is allocated for that. And here's the thing that you've got to try to find and connect to. If you're dealing with a strategic initiative, something that matters at the economic buyer level, there will usually be a compelling event. We've got to understand what that compelling event is. Maybe it's a new website launch. It's a new product launch. It's a new version of a uh, software application that's going in that's driving behavior. Whatever that might be, whatever that compelling event that we're connected to, we must understand what that is and what the timeline for, sex is, for success is around that. So quick review. Get to the economic buyer. Find out what number it is on their priority list. Make sure that the money's been allocated. And what is the compelling, compelling event that's going to drive this? And the reason you've got to know that is when procurement and legal starts pushing back on you, we need to come back to our economic buyer and mobilize them into action to solve that because it's putting their compelling event at risk. If you are not doing these four things, you are relying far too heavily on hope as a strategy. And hope for successful sales reps is not a sustaining strategy. It will not pay out over time. These are important questions. If you have a hard time asking these, go dig up our Monday Morning Pearl on asking important questions because you must ask these. These are pieces of information that you must know if you want to be able to marshal your opportunity to a successful closure. Get with the economic buyer. What is the priority? Is this thing funded? And how does this fit into a compelling event? That's going to be our, our operational uh, compass point, and that's going to drive this opportunity. Hey, we love talking about this stuff, especially the economic buyer. Again, if you know us or, or talk to us at all, you know that's a big focus. We would love to help you out with that. Hit us on some of these uh, on, on our social channels. Shoot us an email. Drop us a call. Whatever it takes. We're here to serve you. Until then, have a great day.